Hello, Barton and Susta. I just want to do justice or fairness to a statement about U.S. and where they have been over the last few decades. Huh? You may can talk about the benefits, but huh? at the same time, you may talk. We feel that uh, this wasn't a right move. But I just want to do justice to the statement where were the United States will stop over the Samas Asia come. The United States will play a significant and instrumental role in the Pacific War during World War II, which included the conflict in Papua New Guinea. Following the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in December 1941, the United States entered the war, okay, entered the war in the Pacific and became heavily involved. They became heavily involved in the fight against the Japanese forces. Now, in the Pacific theater, the United States implemented a strategy called island hopping, which involved capturing strategic islands from the Japanese control. They had to take control of all islands for further advancement. So, specifically, the region of New Guinea was a crucial battlefield or a crucial battleground. So the battle that was fought around the region was fought between the allied forces of um, the United States, Australia and New Zealand. Because the Japanese forces took place in Papua New Guinea from July 1942 and January 1943. So the primary objective of the allies was to prevent the Japanese from advancing further south towards Australia. So the United States provided significant military support to the Allies in the Pacific War, um, including that of Papua New Guinea. So they deployed troops, aircraft, naval bases, and um, supplied aid in the fight against the Japanese. And so the U.S. Army and the Marine Corps played a critical role in the ground campaigns, while the U.S. Navy and Army Air Force provided critical air and naval support. So knowing Papua New Guinea as a strategic location, the successful defense and eventual liberation of Papua New Guinea from the Japanese forces were pivotal moments in the overall Pacific war efforts. And so the United States' contribution, along with those of other allied nations, played a critical role in turning the tide of the war and ultimately securing victory in the Pacific. So yes, we, we have our views on, on where they were in the last few decades. At the same time, I believe they understand our democratic rights, knowing that we have gained independence from Australia um, and so I believe they have respected that over the years. The fact that they have now decided to provide that same support that they have did years back is significant. So when you look back into history and uh, we talk about the freedom that we have as a country to stand alone, I believe they played a really significant role in While we may say that... Um, they have not played any instrumental role in the in the past decade um, in terms of uh, in terms of economic support and donations as we are all used to uh, from developing nations. Uh, it's important to note a few of these factors. But yet again, we are now independent. We have a constitution. We have policies and and laws that govern our relationship with other nations. Um, and so I just wanted to address that statement and just do justice or fairness to um, that statement. Otherwise, God bless Papua New Guinea. Whatever we do from here on, or whatever decisions that we make from here on, will directly have an impact on our future. So, so yes, raise our voices if there's a need, but let us also trust the process. Let us also have some faith in our constitution that we talk about, the rule of law, and allow the process to take its course, and um, we should see some outcome as the years go by. But thank you, everyone. I think that's all that I'm going to say. I'm not so much for or so much against. I just wanted to make a fair statement of the question uh, where were the United States over the past few decades. Thank you for watching.